What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Albuquerque Vipers franchise. We're going to start off looking at these standings. The Ravens are 7 and 5 leading their division. Everyone else is 5 and 7. The Colts are 10 and 2 behind them are the Jaguars. Then you got the Shannon Pleasant led Texans at 7 and 5 at third and then the Titans at last there. The Patriots uh, they're riding pretty easy in their division like normal. They're 9 and 3. I don't think anyone else there has a winning record. The Chargers, they are 8-4, and four, and they've pretty much already got their division wrapped up. They just need one more win. The Packers also have their division pretty much wrapped up. They also just need one more win. The uh, Super Bowl champion, defending Super Bowl champion, Chicago Bears, are 3-9, and nine, so they're definitely not going back. The Falcons are 7-5. and five. Behind them are the Saints and the Buccaneers at 6-6, six and six, and then the Panthers at 5-7, and seven, so anyone could still win that division. The Eagles, they are 11 and 1 right now on top of the NFL. You got the Giants and then the Cowboys at 8 and 4. Pretty big bounce back season for them and then the Redskins at 5 and 7. And then all, taking a look at our division, the Seahawks are 10 and 2. We are 6 and 6, so we actually could possibly have playoffs in the future. Who knows? The Cardinals are 3 and 9 and then you got the Niners. They're one of the worst teams in the league. Looking at stats around the league, Peyton Manning leads the league when it comes to passing yards just short of 3,000. He's also tied for first with the most passing touchdowns with Carson Palmer. When it comes to interceptions, Chad Pennington's thrown the least of guys who've played most of their games and whatnot. Alex Smith has the most, and then behind him is Orlando Cross. When it comes to rushing, 1,400 yards for Tiki Barber. Clinton Portis has 11 rushing touchdowns to lead the league. Marvin Harrison has the most receptions with 88. The most yards goes to Chad Johnson, Mr. Ocho Cinco. And then Harrison, they both have uh, 1,000 yards on the year. And then Ocho Cinco, 15 receiving touchdowns behind him, T.O. Looking at the offensive line stats and whatnot, uh, luckily our, our guy isn't up there in the top anymore when it comes to sacks given up. Look at all these TFLs that these Vipers have got there. They've been doing a good job taken down the runner in the backfield there's uh, uh Gabija Amelia it's his brother he leads the league in sacks there and then interceptions there the, the Patriots rookie safety he's one of the best DBs in the league already Orlando Cross his stats haven't really changed because he's been injured he's not going to be playing this game even though he can um, just because I don't want to really risk him getting hurt even more uh, you know, him being young and whatnot, I don't want him to, you know, just get all banged up and, and you know, suffer some kind of big injury here late into the season, especially since the playoffs do look unlikely, but they are possible. Looking at the receiving, we have a lot more touchdowns this year than we did last season. This offensive line, okay. Not, not great, but they're okay. This defense, though, pretty good. Nine sacks there for Roger Roger, Akbar, Jabil, Amelia. Amelia. He has seven sacks. This defense is doing a good job getting to the QB and also doing a good job picking off the quarterback. Look at all those picks there. And then looking at Martin Gramatica, 20 for 20, 100% when it comes to field goals. His long is from 55. Peyton Manning, he's currently the favorite to win the MVP behind him. Chad Johnson, the receiver there at second. Shannon Pleasant's the favorite to win Rookie of the Year. He has 15 touchdowns, 13 picks, so way less interceptions than Orlando Cross. Charles Phillips is second. Then they got the Browns running back, and then our boy Cross there at fourth. Last week, we were able to upset the Atlanta Falcons. That was a pretty big game for us. Today, we're going to be playing the Arizona Cardinals. The newspaper is predicting the Cardinals to come out with the victory. We'll have to see. Matt Leinert, he's not going to be playing this game. He got hurt again, so we're going to be playing Matt Mock. He had to play the last drive last time he played the Cardinals. They got some of the best receivers in the league. Probably the best one-two punch when it comes with that. With Larry Fitzgerald and Anquan Bolden. They also got Edron James. So they just need a quarterback to really just put it all together. Because in theory, they should be a really good offense. Their defense is okay, I guess. You know, they, they, they've been picking off the quarterback somewhat. And uh, here we go looking at the team statistics and whatnot. Our defense, surprisingly good. And our offense is actually higher rated then our defense but the defense man the defense has been the game changer really the offense has definitely improved since last year 
But my goodness, this defense isn't giving up 60 points anymore like they did three times last year. Down to midfield here. We are the away team. We're going to go with Tails. Tails never fails. Well, it does here. Cardinals, they get the football. Or uh, they get to choose, rather. Uh, they defer, and we get to start off. Michael Bennett running up the middle, not going anywhere. McCown, he's looking to pass, trying to dump that one off to Drew Bennett, not able to hold on to it through the hit. McCown throwing an interception right there. You don't play for the Cardinals anymore, man. I know you did a couple of years back, but uh, but you don't anymore, so please don't throw it to him. An early turnover, a toss out to the left for Edrin James. He's running that way. He's going to pick up a few. Matt Mock, he's looking to pass. He's got some time in the pocket, dumping it off to Edwards, and that's going to be a first down. Edrin James getting the handoff, going up the middle, picks up about four yards. Here goes James again with the ball, spinning off of one man, fighting his way into the end zone for the Cardinals touchdown. A big play here for Arizona. Edrin James running with power, does a little spin move there, and then fights Babinox into the end zone. Babinox can't even bring him down there. Some good power running from Edrin James. Michael Bennett going up the gut, and he's going to pick up four. McCown looking to pass, stepping up into this one. He finds Phillips on the left side there at about the 30-yard line. Michael Bennett running again, and once again, not going very far, losing the football, and Arizona picks it up. So two drives and two turnovers for Albuquerque now. Another short field for Arizona. That pass incomplete. Second down and 10. They fake giving it to James. They give it to Fitzgerald, who's going backwards there. Third down and 17. Mock going underneath to Anquan Bolden. Gets some nice yards after the catch and gets pushed over the first down marker there. A nice connection there to Anquan Bolden. A toss out to the left for Edrin James. He gets some good blockers. Makes one move. Makes another. Dives to the end zone. Loses the football. It goes out of the back of the end zone. And that's going to be a touchback for Albuquerque. So he, he's doing what Derek Carr has done twice now with the Raiders. Dive for the end zone. Loses the football. Going out of bounds. And uh, we get the ball now at the 20. That pass falls incomplete. An early third down situation here. A nice connection to Drew Bennett converts it. New set of downs here. Michael Bennett running to the right. He picks up about five or so yards there. Solid run. McCown looking to pass. Setting up the screen for Bennett. Who's just going to be short of the first down. Third down and one. Walt Morrison gets the ball and he picks up the first down there. Josh McCown, he's looking to pass here. He's got time. Going over to the right, trying to find Glenn Nash. That one's broken up. Michael Bennett going up the gut. That's going to be about two yards there. So another third down. Can we convert? McCown firing to the left in the traffic, and it's knocked away and falls incomplete. Arizona with the football again. Edron James running to the left. That's going to pick up about seven yards. Here goes James again, going up the gut with the ball. Did he pick up the first down? Yep, he got just enough there. James, a third straight carry for him. Bouncing off a defender, picking up three. Mock is looking to pass here. He's got time, dumping it off to Pope, who picks up just enough for the first down. A little shaken up there, but he will be back in the ball game. A new set of downs for the Cardinals. Edrin James goes up the middle and he picks up a few yards. Actually, eight. That's a pretty solid run there. He's going to get the ball again, falling forward and picking up the first. James, another carry. This time, he's not going anywhere. Second down and ten. James, he gets the ball yet again, bounces it to the right. And that's going to pick up three. Third down and seven now. Mock under pressure, setting up the screen to Evans. Truck in the air and gets tackled just short of the first down. It's going to be fourth down in inches, and they're going to have to punt. Here goes Michael Bennett running, and once again, not going very far. Ground game hasn't been great ever since uh, against Seattle there. McCown overthrows Morrison there. He was wide open. Third down and eight over the middle. Jason Avant with the reception and the first down. McCown's looking to pass again. He's got time. Rolling to his left. Throwing this one to Glenn Nash who jumps up. Gets that one. The first defender misses. He's out to the 35-yard line. A big connection there for Glenn Nash. First down and 10. A quick throw here. Harris has the reception over the middle. And we're into the red zone now. The Cardinals blitz there and we took advantage of it. 
McCown rolling to his right, finding Harris again, who dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Vipers! Nice to see Harris getting into the end zone here, jumping up, making that catch, and picking up the touchdown there. And we're going to be tied at seven apiece. Arizona looking to respond. A move inside by Edron James. He's in open space at midfield, stiff arming a man. A big run there for James. Matt Mock is looking to throw. He's got time, but that time's going to run out. Sacked by Akbar Gavijamila Milia. Second down and long now as we hit the two-minute warning. Mock dumping this one off to Anquan Bolden, who gets absolutely punished there by John Clean. Still picks up five yards. Third down and ten. Mock, he's looking to pass. Goes over to the right. Picked off. Wong with the interception. Across the 40, across the 30, but he's not the fastest guy in the world there. Matt Mock able to catch him, but a big-time interception for the Vipers. First down and 10 here, looking to do something with the turnover. Under pressure here, going to the right, and this is going to be picked off by Green. So they turn the ball over, but then we return the favor. Just one play later, Josh McCown throws his second pick today. Trying to have a little bit of a two-minute drill here. A strike to Anquan Bolden at the 40-yard line. Mock is looking to pass yet again, going over the middle. Bolden, another catch for him, picks up five yards. Second down, Mock looking to throw. He's got time in the pocket again, floating over to the left. Larry Fitzgerald at the 25-yard line. They're moving the ball quite nicely now. Edron James goes up the middle, and he picks up seven yards there. Mock's looking to pass on second down, going over to the right, broken up by Ike Taylor. Under a minute left to go in the game. Third down and three. James has the ball, but he's not going to pick up the first down there. That's going to force them to a field goal attempt. Out comes their rookie kicker. The kick is up, and it is good. Arizona takes the three-point lead here just before halftime. 45 seconds left on the clock. Michael Bennett running to the right. That's an easy 10 yards right there. A new first down. Michael Bennett, he gets the ball again running to the left. Tries a little bit of a spin move. Picks up about 8 yards. Second down and 2. McCown's looking to pass. Now rolling to his left. Dumping it off to Bennett. Picks up the first down. And Albuquerque's going to burn a timeout. McCown looking to pass. Going over to the left. In and out of the hands of Glenn Nash. Second down. McCown rolling to his left, or right rather. He's going to pick up a few yards there. Third down and seven. Eight seconds left. McCown stepping up, going deep here, looking for Nash. Knocked away. It's fourth down, but only three seconds left in the game. We're going to try a Hail Mary. Why not? McCown stepping up, going deep for Phillips, who comes down with this one, but he's not able to get it to the end zone. We're out of time. And so a big play there. It pats the stats, but it's not going to result in any points. Kicking off now, Arizona, they're going to get the ball to start off the second half here. Johnson's returning this one. He gets some nice blockers. He's in open room there. Spins off a one-man. Finally brought down at the 45-yard line. A big kick return for AZ. Running to the right, but Jeff Earlbridge there. And uh, James isn't going anywhere. James running again, and once again, not going anywhere. Third down and 10. Mock has got time, and that time runs out. Ben Stabler gets the sack there. Nice to see these interior linemen. They keep getting sacks. They just keep racking them up here. Stabler, a nice spin move on the linemen there to bring down Matt Mock. And they're going to have to punt. A toss out to the left for Bennett. He gives it to Phillips. Running over to the right using his speed there. A nice run picks up about 8 yards. The count dumping it off to Bennett. But he can't hold on to that one. Third down and two, a high snap. McCown going underneath to Phillips, who has the reception there, and gets some nice yards after the catch using his speed. New set of downs here. Bennett going up the gut. A good run for him. Picks up nine yards. Second down and one. Bennett has the ball. Nope, it's play action. And down goes McCown, sacked on the play. Third down and eight. McCown under pressure, barely able to get rid of that one. And we're going to have to punt. Here goes Edron James on the new Cardinals drive running to the left. Picks up five yards. James going to the left yet again. And that's going to be a first down. And he's at 100 yards today or at 102. 5.7 yards per carry. A good day for him. 
New set of downs. Mock going over the middle. That one's almost intercepted. Indeed it is. Darn Earl Bing had his hands on it. Could not secure the ball. But luckily Jeff Earlbridge is able to get it right before it hits the ground there. So another turnover. We're in great field position now. Bennett running to the right and he's going backwards. Second down and 12. Dumping it off to Harris who picks up a solid gain. That's going to make this third down and manageable. McCown's looking to pass, stepping up, going over to the left, overthrowing Glenn Nash. So we're going to bring out Martin Gramatica, who stays perfect on the year now, and we're tied at 10 apiece. Middle of the third quarter, all tied up now. James running up the middle, and he picks up four yards. Second down and six, Mock. He's got time in the pocket, dumping it off to Pope, who picks up the first down just short of the 40. Mock's looking to throw again, and there's going to be a flag on this play. They're going to call intentional grinding. That was a really wacky play there. Look at the replay. He was throwing it, and I think it bounced off the helmet of someone maybe, and then just went flying to the right, and they're going to call intentional grounding. I guess I'll take it. Going deep now, and picked off Jeff Robich, getting his second of the day, but then Larry Fitzgerald forces the fumble, and Arizona recovers it. So an interception there, but uh, Arizona's going to keep the football. You don't see that very often. That run picks up three yards. Here's Jensen going up the middle. He picks up the first. Now they're going to give it to Evans, the former Patriot. He's going to pick up three yards there. Play action pass here. Mock going deep for Fitz, and he's got him at the 20-yard line. Brought down by Ike Taylor at the 15. A big play there for Arizona. Nearing the end of the third, and down goes Edrin James, not going anywhere there. James is going to run it again, but once again, Akbar stopping him in his tracks there as we enter the fourth quarter. And down goes Matt Mock on this play. We sent the blitz. Pete Hunter was able to get to him. That's going to force him to a field goal attempt, which is up and good. First down and 10 here. Bennett running to the right, but not going very far there. McCown's looking to pass on second down. Dumping it off to Bennett. Tips it up in the air. Is able to catch it, but then brought down for a loss of three. You're probably just better off dropping that one. Going over the middle. Glenn Nash. What a catch there. Just enough to pick up the first down. McCown getting hit as he let that one go. It's going to fall incomplete. On second down. McCown rolling to his left. Throwing on the move. What a catch there. Drew Bennett jumping up and grabbing that one at just about the 40-yard line. Wow, he did a great job jumping up and getting that one. A great throw by McCown and a great catch there by Drew Bennett. Gets us in Cardinals territory. Bennett on the draw. He only picks up a yard there. Second down and nine. McCown looking to pass. Trying to set up the screen for Bennett who was not ready for it. Third down and nine. Trying to go over the middle for Nash. It's going to fall incomplete. So out comes Gramatica. This run is from 55 yards and it is good. The game tied up now at 13 apiece in the fourth. Mock looking to pass. Going over to the left. Out of bounds there. Mock has actually had a solid day despite his uh, three interceptions or whatnot, I guess. Maybe not a solid day, but uh, he has a good completion percentage to say the least. Mock's looking to throw here on third down. Going deep for Fitz. But this one is not going to connect and they're going to have to punt. Trying to take the lead now. Just over three minutes left to play. McCown stepping up. Taking a deep shot for Phillips. Triple man coverage there. Second down and 10. McCown dumping it off to Morrison, but he's not going anywhere. Third down and 12 now. McCown stepping up. Going over the middle. What a catch there. What a connection to Glenn Nash. Moves the chains. Bennett running, and he's going to pick up a few yards there. A solid run. This is going to be play action now. McCown rolling to his right. Going deep for Nash, who catches it, but cannot keep his feet in bounds. McCown rolling to his right again. Trying to dump it off to Michael Robinson, who has the catch. Once again, out of bounds, though. We're going to have to punt. Arizona trying to win it on this drive now, or at the very least, take the lead. What a run there by Edron James out to the 45. Or at the 40, rather. Going over to the right, broken up there by Ike Taylor. Second down and 10. Mock looking to pass, going over the middle. Edwards with the reception there. That's going to make this third down and four. Mock going over to the left. Incomplete. Fourth down and four. Punting this one away. Now we got Minter back here 
to return it. Waving for the fair catch, and he muffs the football. Luckily, able to recover it there. You got to be looking for that. McCown trying to throw, but instead he's going to be sacked there. A loss of five. Going deep now for Phillips, and it's going to be incomplete. Third down and long. McCown in his own end zone. Rolling to his right. Going over the middle there. Avon, a nice catch just short of the 30-yard line. That's going to move the sticks. McCown once again under pressure here. Got hit as he let it go, and it's going to be picked off by Gibson. The Cardinals force another turnover there, and they have the ball in field goal range already. Man, that, I wouldn't really blame McCown for that, really, that pick there. He got hit as he let it go, which forced it to be uh, inaccurate, but it's an interception nonetheless. A first down there from Edron James, and the Cardinals are actually burning timeouts. Interesting there. Running there, and now we burn our first timeout. James running the ball again, picks up a few yards. If they pick up a first down, this game might as well be over. James going up the middle, no first down there, but we're going to be all out of timeouts. This run from 35 yards, the kick is up, and it is good. The Cardinals take the lead with under a minute left to go in the game. Kicking this one off, no, it's a squib kick, and it's going to go out of bounds. So that's definitely going to help us out. We only need to get in field goal range too, but a touchdown would be nice to win it. McCown's looking to pass. Rolling to his right, and he's just going to wisely throw this one away. Second down and 10. McCown stepping up. Going over the middle. Bennett has the reception, and he's in field goal range now, but we got to hurry up. We're all out of timeouts. First down and 10. McCown stepping up. Bennett's open yet again in the end zone for the touchdown. Wow, a big play there for Josh McCown. Connecting with Michael Bennett in the end zone. What a drive there. Just three plays. McCown's over 300 yards on the day, and we take the late lead now. Kicking off to Johnson. He already has one good return today, and this is another one for him here. Out to about the 40-yard line, the 45 maybe. Now it's the 40. Matt Mock taking a shot deep. They probably have time for two plays. The ball gets tipped up into the air. Make it only one play, and we're able to lock up this victory here. A big drive from Josh McCown, driving downfield in just three plays against his former team for the game-winning touchdown. And believe it or not, this late into the season, we have a winning record at 7-6. and six. Man, who would have thunk it? A solid day from Josh McCown, 311 yards, two touchdowns, but those three interceptions did hurt. Uh, I still wouldn't blame that last one on him. Along of 48 there. Michael Bennett, we just could not get a ground game going. He also lost a fumble. Four receptions for him, though. And then he also had a touchdown reception, as well as Harris, of course. Bennett with that awesome, uh, the game winner. Ryan Young, he did give up one sack here. Akbar let us when it came to tackles. We were able to get to Matt Mock three times today, which is nice. And we were also able to pick him off three times, even if we couldn't do anything with that last uh, Jeff Earlbridge pick. That's going to wrap up this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey. Goodbye.